what kind of like in in that year you've decided you want to go there what did you what did you do during that time to like prep or to I don't know yeah no I did a lot of prep I really did um I think like you have to everybody has to find their skill set here right like you have to know yourself well I think before you enter something like this Mm -hmm. and like my number one skill like ninja style I'm organized Mm -hmm. and my time management is great and I'm really prepared I would have not been as successful if I entered this without that preparation sure so it's just a matter of me like gathering all the pieces and like feeling fully comfortable right so I mean, I guess I initially, it was Code Academy. I went through, you know, the HTML, CSS, JavaScript round one. Yeah. I touched some React, which was, don't be intimidated. Like, <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. Maybe the first 15 times I looked at React. Yeah. Debatable if I still do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there was some Khan Academy. I did that for SQL, different presentation of information. Yeah. Um, the online boot camp that I mentioned, Flatiron, mm-hmm. they actually have a really good prep program. Cool. It's like 70, 80 hours of like wow. pretty good JavaScript yeah. Ruby um, info. Yeah. So I recommend that. Um, I went to a lot of meetups, you know, yeah. one or two a month, which over time really accumulates. Like you meet some people. Yep. And yeah, I mean, I started, I did Jumpstart with Learn in right. the summer. Right. Yeah. And I just, I mean, I kind of just kept going. I didn't. I knew there were phases, like during the more intense UCSD periods, it was very light code work, Mm -hmm. four or five hours a week on the side. Yeah. Summer was go time, 20 hours a week. Yeah. Let's pick this up. And it just sort of cycled through that all the way up until the day I walked into Learn's door, February 11th. (laughs) Yeah. 